Making a panini that go with my red wine. Gourmet, 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 gourmet. Panini and red wine. Red wine, red wine, and my panini. vegan so that they can vouch for the taste. They found out that I've worked with Tony before and he is now apparently vegan so they saw no problem at all in going behind my back to hire him to do a collab video without asking me first. Okay and that's a problem because? Because Tony is a fucking asshole. God I hate him. There it is. Mm. And I can't even say no because they already had him sign a contract. That's a dick move. Yeah, I'll say. You know, it might not be as bad this time because it's not like he's doing you a favor that he can hold over your head. That's true. So what are you going to make with your new vegan butter? <laughs> Fuck if I know. Something vegan. Good start. So this might be a bad time to ask, but... I'm gonna need a written statement from you saying that my old roommate, Michelle, killed my goldfish with a nail file. What? that's coming over. Tony. Oh. So we don't like him. No. Sorry. He's just... We just don't get along very well. Oh, was... Was he the guy that was the guest star on your live show? Oh my god, you saw that? Well, I was researching for my interview. It may have came up. Mm, that's so embarrassing. I really wanted to take it down, but my sponsors said it was great for views. <laughs> it's, it's really not that bad. It, it shows how dedicated you are to your craft. And uh, it's really motivating uh, to see that you end up at the top. Well, I guess that's one way of looking at it. That's actually really nice. Annie, we need to talk. Kate, we've talked about this. I'm not doing it. Please! It's the only favor I'll ever ask of you. I could lose everything. How will you lose everything? That bitch is crazy. She may not have done the one crazy thing I told everyone she did, but she is crazy. She needs to learn there are consequences for her actions. I feel like that's something you should read up yourself. Oh, come on, Annie. She threatened me multiple times. And my fish did die. Just under different circumstances. I will not participate in this. If you want to file a restraining order against your old roommate, you're going to have to present actual evidence that proves that she's a danger to you. Otherwise, I can't help you. Fine. But if I go missing or end up dying in some mysterious accident, we all know who's to blame. Always exciting, Kate. Oh my god! Tony's bailing on me! What? He got a last minute spot on some vegan talk show and he cut a deal with my sponsors so that he's going to advertise for them on that. Isn't that a good thing? Then we don't have to do the episode with them. <sighs> nope. They still want my episode airing right when the product's released. So now I have to find a new vegan to film with, like, right now. I could do it. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Are you vegan? I could be. Actually, no one knows that you aren't vegan. You're not on any, like, pro-meat sites, right? Come on, I'm not some weirdo. Let me help you out. Okay. 
question up for you? Nothing. Except for helping out my roommate and my friend. And maybe you could sign my restraining order. I knew it. Come on, it's a win-win situation. What's the holdup? Uh, come on, Micah, help me out. Well, it would be violating the ninth commandment, you shall not bear false witness to your neighbor. Come on. But I guess if it's not hurting anyone, I don't know, it's a tricky situation. Are you comfortable being in front of the camera? Definitely. Okay, let's yes. do it. Yes! on vegans so that I can get into character. Okay then. Uh, well, to start off, I thought I'd introduce you and then you can say a few things about veganism, maybe why you became a vegan, something like that, and then we'll just bake. Sound good? Excellent. I just need you to sign this before we start. What's this? Just your uh, statement for my restraining order. Ready. Yeah, all set. Go in three, two. Hi there. Thanks for tuning in to this week's show of Whip It Good. With me today, we have my good friend who has made the big change to veganism. Please welcome Kate. Meat is murder. Cut. You can't say that. Why not? It is. At least that's what all the vegans online say. We're trying to take a stance on the show. Please just keep it more neutral. Hey, I'm just trying to play the part. <laughs> neutral. Are we ready? Let me just pick it up from the last bit. Ready? Three, two. Please welcome Kate. Would you eat a dog? Cut. That's toned down? What? What do you want from me, woman? Oh my god, I need a minute. So that's real cut. She could be such a tight ass. I'm trying my best. I think she's just stressed. Yeah. I think she's also a bit upset that Tony bailed. And that's understandable. They used to have a thing, you know. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. They like... She would invite him to her show a couple times, and then he... Um, he was her date for Aiden's birthday party. And then he ended things? Oh no. She actually caught him making out with Sage at the party. And then I think things like died down from there. Ready? Yeah, just need a breather. So this time, let's try to focus more on the positive aspects of veganism rather than the negative parts of not being vegan. Okay? Okay. Sounds good. Great. Great. Alright. Ready? Three, two. Please welcome Kate. Thank you, Annie. You know, people always ask me what I like most about being vegan. And my answer is always the same. All those beautiful animals that I save by not eating meat. Did you know that pigs are really smart? And fish can actually feel pain? Can you imagine having your skin ripped from your bones while you're lying there alive, struggling to breathe? These are the terrible acts 
that I pride myself in not partaking in. Especially when they're an ex. Wait, what? I don't mean to pry, I just, I thought- Do you think Tommy is my ex? Oh god, ew. Oh, Kate just told me you two used to go out. <laughs> that was nothing. That was not, not dating. I, I needed a date for this thing, but we were never a couple. Okay, okay. He seems like a jerk. Oh, you're telling me. Can I ask you something? Of course. You know when you're with someone that you desperately want to work out, but deep down you know it's just never yeah, I can relate to that. <laughs> Is everything okay? Yeah, no. I don't know. I just, I love Tabitha. But lately we just haven't been connecting and I don't know if that's the distance or anything. Like, I don't know. Sorry? Yeah, yeah. Um, I can understand that. So, it, relationships are hard. Yeah. It's like, you know, when you meet someone and, and you can actually feel God leading you towards them and, and you can't imagine life without them and then, Stuff happens and, and you meet new people and you start to question him. Not that I'm questioning him, it's just, I don't know. Hmm. Well, there is that saying, uh, if you love someone, you should let them go. Like how I let Aiden go. Not saying you should let Tabitha, that's her name, right? Go. Um, well, I mean, she's already gone. But not like that. Uh, I guess, I mean, if it's for a good cause, just um, what I'm trying to say is, yes, trust him. <laughs> uh, I mean, I also think that everyone comes into our lives for a reason, but sometimes that reason is just to teach us something. Like how Kate taught me to control my frustration, sort of. Or how Mia taught me to stick up for myself, against her, but still. So what did I teach you? I think that lesson has still yet to be learned. Well, you let me know when you figure that out. <laughs> I'll, I'll be sure to keep you in the loop. <laughs> Thanks, Annie. You're a really good friend. Yeah, uh, no problem. You know me, always there to give some mediocre helpful advice based off my insane life. <laughs> well, I really appreciate it. I'll see you soon. Yeah, no problem. 